Okay, pictured here in our video is a setup using the Arduino microcontroller to operate a unipolar stepper motor. We'll zoom in momentarily to have a closer look, but just to lay out the uh, components of the setup. This here is a plus 12 and plus 5 several amps each power supply I robbed out of an old TiVo satellite receiver. Uh, they did a upgrade which means they were having the system hacked and needed to replace it and it just filled the landfill full of TiVos and the power supplies out of them are real easy to adapt for experimental uses. It puts out a nice 5 volts and 12 volts. Essentially a TiVo is a computer. This is our uh, 5 volt line. This is our 12 volt line. Here is a uh, your basic run of the mill prototyping board. Here is your Arduino bare bones, really bare bones board that plugs into it. These are your forward and reverse switches. They're simply single pole normally open push button switches. Here is our speed control. How you control the uh, speed of a stepper motor is the, del is the delay between steps. It reads through one of the Arduino analog to digital converters a value which becomes our delay in milliseconds. This is a four channel magnetic driver board. They're built from power MOSFETs. And of course here is our unipolar stepper motor. All right, here's a closer, more blown up view of the uh, circuit. We're mainly concerned with the motor, driver board, and Arduino itself. The power supply is off to your left. Uh, if you press one switch, the motor should step in one direction. And you notice it's, you notice the blinking LEDs. Uh, that gives an indication of which of the four coils is switched on in the motor and you can see the motor uh, going counterclockwise. And, and I particularly programmed this to do a 360 degree uh, rotation. That is, this is a 1.8 degree per step stepper motor. It requires 200 steps to go 360 degrees. Now it is going counterclockwise and see how I can adjust the speed control back over here. Or I can really speed it up. And you see the LEDs blinking so they're blinking so fast they look like they're on continuously. We can really slow it down if we need to. And if you could grab this motor, you would find out that it has a great deal of torque. Uh, this particular motor operates off of five volts and it's about little over one amp per winding per pulse so which is why I had to use a fairly heavy-duty 5 volt power supply let's speed it on up through its cycle we can cut it all this is All right, we see our stepper motor and driver board on, on a zoomed view. I've reprogrammed the Arduino. Instead of just going in forward and reverse, it's programmed to do a, a set of sequences automatically. Uh, this program was written not only to produce a number of steps, but 
a fixed uh, delay which controls our speed. This is something you would see if the motor was attached to something like a CNC machine. So this first button press should give us, uh, it'll go forward and reverse but gradually speed up through each sequence. and I have no control over the speed. This is all automatic. Okay, this second demo is just going to be various speeds and direction. It's random. The speed and direction are all under control of the microprocessor. Okay, and that completes this demo. If you want to find out the uh, actual programming and wiring of the device, I have it on the internet at my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Thanks for viewing my video.